Pierre Isaval, thank you very much for do, agreeing to do this. Um, you've been a guest of the Nexus Institute for a couple of times. So I want to ask you, what does the Nexus Institute mean to you? Well, for me, the uh, Nexus Institute, it's um, an institution who is taking care to think about uh, what we have to do to make, I think, the human persons more conscient and more responsible about all the things they, they have to do with education, with sensibility, with art, and with also with the social life. And I think it's, it's um, a way to combine the forces of intellectual people, of philosophers, of historians, of artists, of uh, people from uh, philosophy, uh, psychology, to bring them together to uh, apport his opinions and, and try to find new uh, stimulation to resolve uh, the actual situation in, in, in many of our countries in Europe, especially, which uh, we have lost a little bit the, the balance in the society and we have lost also the possibility to, to make uh, changes They bring the people closer to the art and to the very nice education. I know you're yourself as well involved in all kinds of projects to bring arts closer to the people. Can you tell us a bit about the things you're doing to bring arts to people? Well, in first instance, what I'm doing, it's basically it's to bring the music to the different halls in different countries to make people the experience to, to, to listen to concerts, which are not only a project with music from the Baroque or from the Renaissance, but by try in the last already 14, 15 years, it's to bring also music to the history, music to the relation between different societies, with, between Orient and Occident, or inside from a, a world like uh, Balkans or like uh, Ottoman Empire. And I think um, we need uh, to use the music to understand the history. Because the music, it's as Elias uh, Canetti has said, music it's the, la the really life history of the human being. Because when we listen a song from another time, you are, we are doing the same experience of the people from this time, and then we have the, the emotion and we have the real um, uh, perspective the global um, senses to make us to understand this historical context. And I think music can help also, it's very important for the intercultural dialogue. For these our projects with Jerusalem, with my nostrum, with uh, La Sublime Porta, Istanbul, uh, and recently the Balkans and all these projects are showing the people the the communities they are in the in the different uh, countries enemies they can be together and with the music they can found the harmony and I think it's very important to remember the music it's probably today one of the last bridges that we can have bringing people from different believings from different religions, from different cultures together. That's Especially if we do music from these different uh, traditions together with our uh, early music, because in Europe the medieval music has the same ba basic uh, methods and ba style very similar to the oriental music. And then when we play troubadours music, uh, Trecento, when we play um, music from the Cantigas, music from the 
seven until the 14th century, before the, we invented the polyphony and the contrapoint, all this music before, which is also um, uh, uh, monody and uh, uh, based on, 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 on improvisation and lamentation, it has the same uh, methods as the, they have in Orient. And then we can find very nice ways to dialogue with music. You've been participating in Rob Riemann's project of the University of Life. What would you say is the most important lesson life taught you? Well, I, th I think uh, the result, what we are, the person, what we are as a persons, is the result of all our experience, of all our traumas, of all our conflicts, and of all the influences that we have received in life in, from our family, from our mother, our father, from the teachers, from everything. everything. I personally, I think um, we have to, to help people making them more conscious how important are the first 10 years in the life of our children. I have said this before in the end. In the, you think after 10 years, we can learn, but we, the personality, the, the character, all the essential things that makes us as a personality, as a real uh, uh, human, are already very well defined. And I think these 10 first years of the life is the moment where we can really give these children a sense of, of um, opening, of uh, curiosity, of education, of uh, be a good person, of everything. It's, it's the moment of this. And this is, it's not in the school, it's the home. I think sometimes we, we don't think enough how important is this, the school of life at home in the beginning of a life. And I think, in my experience, I have, I think, learned the most important things in this period of my life, until 14, 15 years. And I'm very, I have learned beautiful things, but also I have suffered for a lot of things, but they have also made me understanding things, you know. And I think we, today, maybe we protected too much the children uh, for things that we have to give the children the opportunity also to make experience, to, to, to be able also to, to resolve themselves things in a certain uh, dimension, of course, you know. Because only the things you experience in your life, you will assimilate. Um, education is not only to fulfill different aspects of the, how to be a good person, but it's to experience in life and to take uh, consequences of these and, and to, uh, to learn from the daily experience you have in your life. Well, this will be my last question. You just said that those first 10 years were as well essential to you. Can you remember something that really inspired you from that period that you still take with you in your heart? I have many, many things that, that inspired me in this, but I will say maybe one of the things they have marked very strong my life was when I was 10. Uh, well, one thing was when I was six, I uh, listened to uh, a boy choir from the school and it was uh, really very happy to listen to this, these children singing. But one thing that have, I think has changed my life very strong was when I was 10, I was suffering from a very, um, very severe infection, a typhoid infection. I was very near to, to die because they didn't have found what happens in one way they have discovered was a typhus. It was very late and, and my heart was uh, still working very slow. Then means I have been 
mostly two and a half months in recovering, in, 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 without possibility to move and, and in, in, the, in, in the home. And in this time, I remember I have discovered the pleasure of reading and the pleasure of, of listening to music. And this saved my life because listening to music, music has bring me so much energy. And reading, uh, I was able to to fly, to go. I remember I have read uh, Pushkin, um, Jules Bern, and different books. It was by casual things at home. And every time there was starting a book, for, for me, it was like I was traveling and, and being in another world. And I think this has been have a very strong influence in my evolution later. Thank you very much. And you have lost it far on, I'd say. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.